Peace to the God. <laughs> that time. To That's my joint. <laughs> about that time. <laughs> How you feeling, my lord? I'm, 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 I'm well. How about yourself? I'm good, man. I can't complain, man. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm hanging in there and just, just maintaining, trying to deal with the pollen in the air and the spring, and, you know. What I'm saying? Just one foot in front of the next, man. You know what I mean? That's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's 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 what up. So, um, eight o'clock on the dot. This yeah, is yeah, man. I, <laughs> I'm trying to be on point just in case I had to update my app or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know we have that 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 constant variable. And so it's always, <laughs> so it's I tried to be ahead today, shit, so I could be on time, man. You be no, keeping us on point, man. I appreciate you, brother. No, it's that's they take my mom, man. She had me in line, like <laughs> mom Duke. So, um, salute to everybody joining in. This is episode twenty-seven of Constant Elevation. Uh, the legendary brother Jay X Clan, Black Watch Movement, Flatbush, Brooklyn, and myself, Tamal. Uh, this is a bill we do usually do the first Wednesday of every month. Um, we're doing it now just because life sometimes gets in the way and uh, we always try to stick doing it within the same month. And uh, we build on important topics as far as hip hop goes and life in general. And just, um, it's brother Jay, man. So you guys know, like, you know what you're going to get and, and, and where he's going to be coming from. And um, it's a structured build. So I'll say, you know, like, please if you have questions, comments, put them in the use the questions feature below as a question mark down there. And it's kind of, uh, make sure that you know it's pertaining to the build, so everybody can 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 get something out of it. You know, so it's, it's a community type thing. So, you know, we we're kind of guiding it, but like add on, but you know, try to keep it with what we're doing, so we can all get something out of it. And um, yeah, so this is a this is gonna be a good one, man. I'm gonna let you kind of take it away. I'll say the title basically based on what you told me in my in your text message, but. I'm gonna let you run. You're gonna run with this, and I'm gonna see where you're gonna go with it. Um, you said we've been discussing the, the youth, parents, and grandparents of. I added a little grandparents of the current hip hop generation. How do we protect our children in entertainment and, and as consumers? Right. So, um, where you where you want to go with this, man? Well, I mean, uh, first of all, peace to everyone coming in and whatnot. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I I think we should start at, you know, uh, the state of the times. You know, within the last couple of weeks, um, children can basically move around non-consent to change their realities. And I think kind of two plus two comes together because if you've been seeing a lot of the artists are wearing, you know, the males wearing female clothing and things of that nature kind of advertising beforehand you know to say the young heads like if you get in the game don't get don't feel, feel funny if somebody offers you to wear a skirt for a couple hundred racks you know what i'm saying and to, and to model as you know opposite of what you're presenting yourself as it has nothing to do with music so you know since it can be done without consent i'm sure a lot of kids would kind of love to jump out of the house and just you know know create their own reality and sell their soul and whatnot so you know i'm kind of trying to think ahead right now you know to talk to parents because they're hiring artists younger and younger now you know what i'm saying to groom them into the game and um just the regular industry is not a, a safe place but now with these bent rules you know what i'm saying kids moving without consent you got to kind of think about protection so i wanted to build on um first you know parents that have a, a deeper structure in their house um kind of making a pact with your children a, a loyal conversation you know what i'm saying it, it sounds square but it has to be done because you know you got to make sure that your child is playing on the same team for one you know what i'm saying you know one one bad argument and someone can jump ship you know, we can't have that. So I think a little bit more discipline in that area has to start first. And, you know, you know, this should be a family business when young children 
are involved in, in um, entertainment. I always felt like it should be a co-management situation where the parent has some say-so in the creativity um, that the child is displaying. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you can't kick it to your own family, how are you kicking it to the world? You know what I'm saying? And it kind of allows the, ch the parent to put a little wisdom to the seed. Maybe the lyrics wouldn't be as crazy and outlandish if the families were involved a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? And that's for people who have that kind of support. You know, outside of that support, there should be some kind of adult situation involved with anyone young. You know, if you're 16, 17 years old, and you're getting a contract in your face, you should have some kind of adult to talk to outside of a lawyer and so on and so on. You should have someone kind of weighing the parameters of what you're due to that contract for. And um, I think, not to cut you off, I think you're supposed to, though. I mean, I mean to my people's uh, souls of mischief, they were telling me that when they, um, when they were doing 93 until infinity, they were like all juniors in high school mostly, and they had to like um, for their first joint, they had to get permission to leave school, permission to like to do everything from their from their parents. I, I don't know if, if if the laws have changed as far as under eighteen, but but um, well, that's that's what we're building on, my lord, because the consent uh, curtain has been lifted, dog. You, you, a child can go now to the clinic and cut their shit off and live another reality so the contracts have to be next you know what i'm saying especially if you're trying to get people who are willing to you know to work for a machine and not have to work in the regular field shit you know it's coming you know if it already hasn't you know been structured like that if you're if you're giving children the consent baton to just run by themselves dog we have to be prepared to protect our children and I'm trying to tell people through this conversation, like, you know, it may be time to form a business, you know, and study, you know, co-management, you know what I'm saying? Because you have to have some kind of control in this situation. Now, let me put you in this situation now. You know, your son comes home. I think we spoke about this before. Your son comes home and says, yo, you know, they offer me to wear this man purse and this mini skirt on tour and they're given uh, 300000 all right? And this is the point where your seed can break off from you to be like, when you say, hell no, they may have the consent to say, to override you and take this deal and put them themselves in that fashion. Now, how would you feel about that? Wouldn't you want to have something structured to be like, well, I'm in your career. I'm in making decisions with you and, you know, when these things come down the pipe, let's weigh it and see if there's other options to wear some different kind of clothing when you want to be a, a parent like that. Of course. And I was, so I'll say this then. I think we need to even go a step further back then because if you get to the con if you get to the contract as a parent, right, and your kid's an artist or whatever, and, and you get to that point as a parent and, and that becomes a heated discussion or a heated battle and, and, and your child is is already leaning in that direction or leaning in that direction, then you've done something wrong as a parent in the first place, in my opinion. So I feel like like it needs to, because, okay, so we can't do anything about what society's doing right now, but we can do stuff about our kids. So it's like, to me, you got to like set the values and principles and morals in place in the beginning. So if and when that type those situations arise, your child will at least have some, they, they're still a child, so they're not going to just be like, oh, yeah, but they'll at least have some inkling of, yeah, this ain't, this ain't what we're hey, about. Man. Hey, bro, every parent is not the same. Some people, of course. Some people don't even whoop their kids' ass. Of course. So, some, some people can't even take their kids' phone without a fight. <laughs> you know, you've seen... Teachers get beat up in classrooms trying to uh, take their phone from the kids and shit like that. So everybody doesn't have this common sense and right reason. So this is kind of like a crisis prevention conversation for this episode. You know what yes. I'm saying? This is like if you haven't installed these things and, you know, most 
most of the people that gravitate toward us, we, we have kind of a, a generation taste in our hip hop. So I would imagine that most of the people are parents on this line. You know what I'm saying? Most, you know, most people, like I said, spilling over into grandparent. Because if you were part of the golden era and in, in, in enjoying hip hop and that flavor, you know, we, we are now stepping into a new era where a lot of the unsaid is coming to, you know, to the front line right now, dog. This is kind of, this is kind of backwards, dog. I, I'm, I'm afraid on how, how much permission they're going to give these young children in entertainment, dog, because this is where they advertise that agenda, all right, of just breaking you for commercialism. It's not just about gay or not or transgenders or whatever case may be. It's just really altering you from from who you are. And, I, and this is why we stated in the past, like some kind of eldership has to be in your group situation. They don't have to be on the covers and posing and all of this kind of shit, you know, but they should be as available as the manager, as the lawyer, you know, someone that's going to say, yo, man, we don't take those kind of offers. You know what I'm saying? And this is why. Okay, why do you have to alter yourself in order to sing and express from who you are? You should be evolving and not altering yourself. And I don't think that since there's no more artist development, you know, um, um, you know, that was one thing that was good about back in the days that they had an artist development, depending on how big your label brand was or, or, or how strong your team was. But, you know, that artist development, it does a lot. It kind of lets you know what the next step up is so you don't have to weigh too many other options of altering who you are. You know? right. So those things are not in place. And I would say to parents that they become the artist development. You become the one signature that has to be on the contract or it doesn't go or there's going to be an issue. And, you know, that money that comes in from whatever it is, the commercials or offers or whatever it is that has to be managed by the family especially with money going digital and all kind of things now you got to budget differently dog this ain't you know get a check and, and and hit the ab and go shopping time frame bro we at war now you know economy is, is backwards so i think if entertainment is going to continue as it is you know it's the it's the biggest thing for the couch potato and for the people who drive they want music and they want films I think you're going to start, you know, parents are going to have to start creating family business. If you notice your child has a talent, you should be the co-manager and it should be by consent of the child. You know, like, I, I don't know what, what is called the terminology um, when, when a child wants to emancipate out of their family. I, you know, you ever watch, um, what's the show on... on um, Oh man, I can't remember this damn show. It was about a drug dealer dude and, and his daughter wanted to emancipate from the family and get her her own and she got the lawyer to fill the papers out and all kind of shit. This is going to kind of have to be like a reverse um, situation on that, bro. You know, you're going to have to really get your child to really show what kind of team they're on and that that rule doesn't apply in your particular household because they're making this a law now. You right. know what I'm saying? You know, a bad argument, man, can really be, you know, kind of switch things around in a different place. And when when a child is desperate and doesn't know the rules of the game, when you get out into that reality, into that real world, yo, bro, you know, you know, the, the trafficking, the 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 you know there's so many different options that are out there i don't want to go through the list and get off topic but just in entertainment alone you imagine these artists going to a label and saying i'll become whatever you want me to be just right. give me a check just make me popular right you know but you know, you know like so he said ozark was the show right is that it ozark, ozark. okay yes yes thank you brother Shit. um so <laughs> so so i'll say this though again though right look because you're saying you're saying all right, the parents, it's got to be in the reverse. The parents need to step up and, 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 and manage the situation more and stuff like that. But, like, it's kind of like, in terms of, like, sociology, 
kids' peer groups become their influences by like, I think it's like 10 or, 10 or 11, 12 or something like that. Right. So my point is, if you're, if you're not right with your kid already, I, I, you're going to... They're not giving you shit. If they already fighting you over the phone and they're already, you know, bucking up and shit, and you already, you know, like, so you're saying this is crisis prevention. To me, you're already at the crisis if, 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 like, if you're not right with your kid, what I'm saying is when this shit comes up, man, you, or, like, like even, even if you try to, like, establish this shit, like, you may lose your feet. We're gonna, we're gonna. We're gonna like we're gonna um set this up, set up a trust for you. Da, da, da. They're gonna be like, fuck you. I'm the one making the money. I'm the one doing this. Fuck you, dad. Right. This, this, and you this. don't want that kind of attitude, that kind of anarchist type of attitude is is really gonna get a lot of people twisted, bro. Because look, these companies want content all the time. So if you got 20 kids who, you know, know how to be hilarious or want to fake being fabulous and all kind of stuff, man. They got jobs for them all day to advertise these products, bro. They don't care how young or whatever. They, they, they don't want the rebellious mind, the mind that says, no, I don't want to do that. I'd rather do, I don't want to do a skirt in the bag. I'd rather do a unisex item. And that's the decision of the team. Because if you respect my faith enough to make me an offer, I should be able to to come back with my side of the situation, period. And, and, and that's just natural negotiation, bro. But mm -hmm. a young person is not knowing that. They're thinking, like, the window's open. You better jump out of it before it closes, all right? But an, an adult would know if that's your opportunity, the window is always open, period. So they know how to put, they should know how to put the child into a patient, a, a patient situation, man. I mean, look, man, if, if, if these parents are raising these children and, you know, there was a time where you were rearing them, you got to take them back to that kind of mental where that total respect and that total needing of your wisdom is like the, the milk and shit that you were feeding them as a youth, bro. They got to sit down and be solid. You know, you can't, you can't dodge, dodge the workplace and accept these sucker deals. And, and then also the insurance side of it, there should never be record deals that are dealing with life insurance, dog. I don't know why that's a norm. You know, I guess because of the way they're picking these artists from because, you know, the dangerous and, and, you know, environments and shit like that. But there shouldn't be life insurance attached to these deals. So if anything, protect your seed by getting that life insurance. I don't, you know, I don't think you could have two or three different policies at one time and shit, you know, I, for one life. But I would think that you would want the family to control that aspect. If something does happen in the music game, it is a dangerous game, period. Right. When you're tra traveling around touring, you, you're making money, you know, you, you have materials and people are in a desperate mind state right now. So you got to protect your interests, you know, m mold that money to where you have security on your family and not some outside force that's being paid to make sure your kid dies so a label can continue to eat off the martyr rap. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we talk a real deal right now because, you know, you know, the 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 losing the power of consent is a deep thing. It shouldn't just be looked at for people trying to do some transgender uh surgeries and shit. It goes across the board. You know what I'm saying? As far as how these kids can just get up one day and say, hey, man, I think I can hack it on my own, you know? And, the, and you know, kids nowadays are different. You got a computer on your hip. So you may think that all the data that you have makes you smarter than your parent. It does not. You know, wisdom comes with time, you know? So the parents have to start. If you see your kid interested in dancing and singing and all of that kind of thing, have a serious conversation with them because when they do get an offer, you want to be on the same page with them. Don't wait until the offer comes and now you're fighting if you should take $300,000 from some phantom, you know, phantom label or investor or whatever to do your get down and y'all didn't have this talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a very important conversation because, you know, with someone handing you money like that, that money burns, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they may think they're rich 
you know, beyond whatever they've ever had in their life, man. But that money burned fast. And the parent needs to step in and say, let's manage this correctly. So, you, so, you, so you'll have something. So you know what I'm saying? Employ yourself. And then you can also spread love to the family. Because if you're doing a job, then you get paid for the service to the business. So the parent has now a job of managing the child and protecting them from the dumbass parties. Do you think if a parent goes to a party with a kid, you think the kid's going to be at the after party pulling their clothes off and sniffing coke and, and tripping, man? Come on, bro. Right. It's not going to happen. Right. It shouldn't happen. Right. Right. <laughs> no. So, I, so I'm going to be negative Nancy here yes. and, 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 and look at the unfortunate downside of a part of this is that far too often we see parents being exploiting the kid just as much as the fucking industry. Yeah. Like, and they see their kid as the cash cow. Cause look again, in, in, in a lot of these situations based on where they're coming from. So if there's not a lot of loot in the family and whatever Shaniqua's fucking can kill it with, a, with her voice or shake her ass or whatever and get that check. There's like documented shit recently I've seen of like parents of, of teenagers, uh, teenage girls, like, they were going to see R. Kelly or something and saying, like, um, you know, show some leg, you know, like, yeah. make him laugh and shit like that. So I just want to point that out. Like, unfortunately, a lot of times, there's women in the kitchen different strokes. I mean, so, like, a lot of times the parents are just as foul as, as the industry and, that they, and, and, and aren't protecting and, and taking care of their, their jewel which is their child so I, I just wanted to put that out there because it's a lot of yeah hey, bro, that, the, the child pimping is real and you know we we've grown up in the era uh, the eras of music when we've seen that now information is spilling out that these parents were sending their kids to the studio and turning their eyes to whatever may go down as long as they got a check they didn't care what was going down behind this conversation is not for that kind of a parent this is this conversation is for the parent that really wants to put protection on their seed. We have to start separating the real from the bullshit, bro. You know what right. I'm saying? Some people are not ready to to absorb the responsibilities of parenthood like this. You know, like I said, some of them can't even take the phone from the child and say, "Yo, chill for a minute," and not even be on a punishment. Like you're doing this too much. That may be a full out UFC battle in your house, dog if you don't have that kind of understanding with your seed, man. And, you know, at these times, it's time to sew that kind of bullshit up, bro. Because mm -hmm. if, if those things get too heated, y'all get into one of those, you know, little small tussling matches or something, you know, the pops in the sun or whatever, the sun can go off on a whole different reality and come back tomorrow as Janice and saying, yo, I got bread and I'm on a reality show and they give me, 400,000 to carry a man purse in the miniskirt, you know, fuck you, pop, and fuck everything you're talking about. That shit can happen in the blink of a fucking eye, bro. And they, <laughs> and they, may, and they might not even be on that steez, but for survival and desperation, they will step into that zone, dog. It's, it's that important. Right. It's yeah. that important, man. I, I, I feel this something that, you know, people on this on this line or whoever's going to be viewing this footage from YouTube or whatever, I think it's really time for them to contemplate the options, man, of how to have this conversation and then set up the structure if your child is really talented. If they're not talented, man, you know, you'll know how to have the conversation like, yo, you're, you're not a singer. You know, you sound good in the shower, but let's cut it out because if they're real, then you put the bread behind it. You know what I'm saying? You put the time and the training. If they're singing, get them the singing lessons, get the whatever. You know, they would a child would lean on the parent for that. So when it's time for the deal, when when does that stop? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I'm paying piano lessons and singing lessons, you become a next Michael Jackson, what you gonna do? Get old and turn your back on me and say, Fuck me? Nah, man, this is a continued relationship. Right, right. No, that's what it that's that's definitely what it definitely what it should be, right? And as a as a parent you know, I think it's all parents. I told my daughter, I tell her all the time, I'm like, look, whatever you're interested in, I will help push you in that direction. You want to fly a kite, be the best kite flyer, I will, you be Knights' World Kite Championships. I don't give a fuck. Like, so right. I think it's 
we, we, we want that for our kids. And so, so if we're talking about those types of parents, yeah, we're going to look to, we're going to look to um, give them the best opportunities to, you know, take that talent and do something positive with it and, 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 and a, Conscious in a, in a you know positive way versus you know the, the bullshit versus the exploiting like we were talking about earlier. Yeah, bro, because this is this has got to be like a movement, man. You know, when I saw the Kid Rock dude shoot up that beer the other day, he started a movement, and within four, four days, a company lost four billion dollars. Beside, when it's when the when one person lit the fire, it, it just what was, happened? It, uh, I'm, I'm not. Rock. All right, so Kid, Kid Rock got on the um, Twitter. Okay. And um, the Bud Light came out with the transvestite on the can. Oh, uh, okay. All right, so now, you know, all these beer drinkers are looking like, you know, what's, what, what, you know, what you doing? What's going on? Why y'all changing the flavor? This is the good old boys drink, you know? And the dude took six pack in the back, you know, lined them up and took the AK out or whatever he had, some kind of assault rifle or something, and lit them shits up and said, fuck him. Anheuser Busch and all their products and everything, and that product has not moved, bro. You can go to every beer uh, place um, in the country right now, and the shit is sitting on the shelves. And this is like playoff time. Everybody's watching UFC, drinking beer, all of that shit. And um, they formed a movement because you put this transvestite in a place where y'all was representing the, the cowboy dude and you know, that kind of get down, and now y'all going broke back on us and the flip of a thing, and we supposed to just keep drinking, and and they made a move for themselves. So I'm saying in this instance, we have to have, have that kind of movement happen for our kids. Someone has to say, yo, man, you're not going to take a life insurance on young children for a record deal, all right? No more 360 deals. And and stop taking these kids, like someone said on here, they praising them for being average. And that's correct. You know what I'm saying? You don't want, if your child is truly not talented, you got to hide behind a robot voice box to alter your shit. You need to get the training and the discipline, you know, of singing and entertaining and stop just being mediocre because that is another genocide in itself to make our music. Low. There's no other music genre that is, is disgusting like how rap music is right now, bro. All right? There's no other genre that I see playing themselves as much as rap music. So if your kid is interested in rap and, and R&B and things of that nature, usually that falls into black culture or, you know, uh, or outside ethnicities, outside of the country music and stuff like that that's predominantly white and so on. So we, so they have a different kind of, uh, of hunting for that. You know, they, they have a different kind of, you know, drool on their mouth to see us go backwards. So the parents have to protect and make sure that the kids are not part of that foolishness at all, dog. Like, yo, you're not going to be that. You're not going to be the poster child. You're not going to be Nas X part two. All right. You, you, you come out, out one way. You get us hyped. Like, oh, man, we got a country hit. One of ours, an innocent young boy. And we start sending our kids to see this fool on stage at school. Little kids are singing at the top of their lungs. And then a heartbeat later, that same fan base that's checking for you is looking for your new record and look where you lead them. And now he's more popular than ever. But they're not realizing that he's crossing over. He's not country anymore. It doesn't sound like country to me anymore. And look at how without the creative control i don't know where his parents are i've never even seen his parents come out and speak like, like you know we raised our son like this it, it wasn't like a Dwayne wade conversation like the parents are cheering you on i would love to see what they think bro i would love to see like your son left here in toy story clothes and came back like you you know uh <laughs> what's only in fifth element with uh Chris, Chris, what's his name in Fifth Element? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He left there, Woody clothes, and came back like that, dog. You know, like wow. You know, in the blink of an eye. What do your parents think, dog? You feel me? You know, we never got a chance to hear from their side. 
You know what I'm saying? We just, just hear the hoopla and the foolishness. When I heard Dwayne Wayne um, Way's son, his his mother, the baby, the son's mother, speak, she wasn't down with any of that. You know, you 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 know. So she wasn't down and we never listened to why to her concerns we only heard what was paid to be advertised as you know glorifying this transition people are very upset about that and that further advertises options for young heads to say yo man if it all fails i'll just go gay and go get my bread even if i'm not you know i might not cut my shit off but i still have rights and i can do whatever and i'll get more than what I will get from being in the hood doing whatever case may be. You got a lot of people ready to bow out like that. Our people are stupid, bro. You know what I'm saying? Our people are stupid, bro. There's a reason that we do these movements and improvement courses and things like that because we, you know, we're we're really crazy in the head, man, following this this backward system, you know, that we're programmed to, dog. We shouldn't even have to have a conversation of how to protect children and entertainment. It should be common sense that you don't sign life insurance. That's like somebody wishing your death. Like you come from that place. Once I put this gold chain on your neck, you probably got a couple of days. You go to the pancake house, you might get smoked, but we got to keep doing business. So you got a whole, whole martyr rap category now of record selling. It was already bad enough with the Biggie and the Tupac and so on, you know. <laughs> but now y'all made it a, a, a full genre of the industry to, to put the life expectancy. Some of these dudes don't even get to come out and they still 30 songs deep in the lab, you know, trying to figure out the right pocket to drop this music and give it to these fans, bro. And that's how they'll use you. You know, it's like prison. You're always property of these people. You know what I'm saying? So someone has to be, you know, a management before the warden grabs them. The record owners are like wardens right now. You know, they're just taking these talents and draining them of everything. They're not even having them step up. There's no training. These guys right, going to... They're easily replaceable, too, a lot of them. I mean... Why would you want to be somewhere where you're easily replaced? Huh? Why would you want to be right. somewhere that you're easily replaced? Why would you want to be a part of something like that? A young person is not going to think about that. They're going to think that they're special. This generation has, like, a, a fixation for attention, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everything is built on this strange, put the light on me, put the spot on me. I'm the next one. I'm the next. <laughs> Man, that, that shit has to cease. Uh, discipline is, in, is, is, is overdue, good brother. You know? Yeah, it's, it's overdue. And the problem is, I mean, as we're talking, man, we're, we've said it before, we're swimming upstream. Like, we're going against the current right now. You and I having these conversations, you and I on our phone calls or whatever it is, right? And, and, and so, like, and that's the thing, like, the environment is not supporting putting this into place. Mm -hmm. and, and so, I mean, how do we get around that? Like, we, there's, not, there's not even enough, enough support among us in hip-hop to, 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 to to put something together. We've talked about unity and hip hop and all that type of stuff. So I'm just saying, how do we circumvent, how do we get around that as far as the obstacles that are there? Like what we're saying is great, man. But like, I'm looking at like, when you just said, you know, people are stupid. How do we break through? We need to fucking break through. Yeah. Like, right. we, yeah. we gotta break through, really. Our priorities are fucked up, man. Yeah. The values are all twisted up. Yeah, man, and, and I think that we have to fight fire with fire, bro. It has to be a thing where if a law comes out to say you have consent, then you have to structure a business that says, by law, I protect my child. I am the management. There are no decisions to be made without my signature by consent of the child, period. That's how the documents are going to have to read. It's, it's like you got to have a prenup with your kids, man. It's fucking ridiculous, you know, but that's what it's coming to, bro. That's that's the only answer that I see dealing with this topic. Like, I've been looking at this thing just form in itself, and I'm like, wow, y'all getting younger and younger choosing these kids, and they don't really have to be talented because you've now made the machinery make them sound good enough. So they're 
being used to the fullest and used as a commercial machine to draw and you're getting pennies. You know what I'm saying? And the really big money that you get is only when you compromise yourself. It's already being practiced, man. You know what I'm saying? I say that. I think that parents are going to have to start looking into forms of management, looking at insurance, and, um, and kind of really figuring out how to be the one force that it doesn't let them compromise and sell themselves out by law, not just by, I told you, do what I say. It goes beyond that because when the dollars come on the table, that turns people into golems, dog. And unfortunately, our kids as well. And some parents. Yeah. So you, got to jump and you got to really be on that from the jump. Once you, it's like if you see, you know, when the, when the wolves start coming out for your kid, and, and it's some real shit. And, and you know, and let's say you, again, your kid does, again, we're saying that your kid does have some talent or whatever. But unfortunately, they don't even have to have talent. I mean, people are just trying to exploit, I mean, looks, exploit, whatever. But then we're saying that, okay, that parent's stepping up like, yo, let's, we're setting this up right now off the rip. Correct. Yeah. Correct. It has to be like yeah. that. Yeah. You know, and if you don't have that power, then you know what you have to correct inside your household, you know, just point blank. If you don't have that power to make that happen, then you then you know what's wrong in your house. You're now seeing the gaps in your oh, own yeah. house. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It speaks for itself. You know what I'm yeah. saying? These are common sense things that we have to start, you know, start getting with. And you know, parents should be talking more, dog. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know that you know they're trying to separate us from whatever this new sound is or whatever case may be. You know, our generation were the foundation consumers of this. We do have a right to say. We do have a right to say, like a program director, what's played on the air, what's, you know, the influences. You know, I, I'm I'm really going to be pushing that that move to get program directors voted in, bro. I'm, I'm very serious about that because there's too much receipt that the current playlists are influencing violence and foolishness, bro. And you can't say that playing that shit 24 7 is not affecting our youth my dog it's, it's it's beyond it's affecting the old heads now you know and there's a frequency of feel-good music that doesn't exist in this new era man you know what i'm saying it, it, it's and it's a lot of pressure on you to have to continue continuously make hits and hits and hits and that flavor that is a that, that that you you saw what it did to Michael Jackson. You saw what it did to Prince. It drained them. You know what I'm saying? It it it, it drained them. You're constantly thinking. You can't even just create and express from your own. You have to go to a pop standard now. You know what I'm saying? And they just keep turning it up because the people that keep turning the the bar up, they don't perform. All right, they just negotiate and and uh, open up more doors for commercialism. They're not creating this material. There's a lot of good stuff that we've missed and it's so oversaturated that the game is not even attractive anymore. Oh, you know what I'm not. saying? It's not even attractive. You know, that's, that's a problem that I'm having on how to release and where to release. You know, where will it matter? Okay? The kind of content that I bust, you know, regardless of having the best beats in the world, bad timing <laughs> will be bad it time. And it, and it never seems to be the right timing by the way the industry no. has all this stuff. But it doesn't matter who you are. Like, you could be Jay, Nas, like, they'll, they'll, they'll drop it out and talk about it for a week, right? It'll be the buzz. Go on to the next scandal, pod eat, Tide pie eating shit, whatever, challenge. Correct. Whatever. Whatever the fuck. So, no, why would you, why would you like, put your kids in that? Don't put your kids in that. Yeah. <laughs> you're like the fourth artist I know that's that that's sitting on albums sitting on projects because it's like yo well, i'm gonna release it into this into this into this type of game right now like you said it's really oversaturated you know we're going to a different direction but it's it's important to, to note that though the, that yeah it's yeah, it's not attractive at all. i mean there's just so much dope music out that people haven't heard and but that's not getting pushed to the forefront you know we, I mean? we should be strong enough to have our own platforms you know i would have loved to see five parents who have talented kids come together and make a group business and and put it out the way that they want to. Um, I would love to see, 
you know, when I first built my brand, my, my, my first idea was to have teachers as A&Rs because they know the frequency of teaching young people. So you would know what they're able to mm -hmm. absorb. You know what I'm saying? An artist wouldn't be so much in their head when you have someone who teaches and then loves music at the same time to, to analyze what young heads can, can absorb. You know, some people are too heady. And then some people are below the bar, kind, kind of speaking below layman's term. So there, there is a medium, you feel me, that a teacher could say, that's too complex for the, the young audience frame that gravitates toward music. I always thought that people outside of the box would be better program directors and better A&Rs and parts of music labels. And I think that when that kind of structure and then parent management all are in the same place, you won't hear as much drama and bullshit and child trafficking and foolishness that you hear. You know, I don't, th I, I think that's part of the solution of moving forward with that my lord all right so a couple of things we we got it we i don't know if he's still on we got a teacher on uh john robinson uh, science of life he's a uh, teacher and um go, go john to... robinson man he he won a mic contest i had in um uh project blow uh chaos network years ago and said him okay. and him and jessica james won he smoked a lot of people he was the underdog coming in but I knew he was a beast. <laughs> <laughs> so there, you, there you go. So he's he's, he's merging the hip hop and education thing because hip hop, it, real hip hop, is education. Yes, you know, what I mean? and that so real hip hop is ed ed education. So, all right. So it goes goes back to a couple of things, right? So we we always kind of circle back to some of the same points. And one of the points that you brought up was, oh, you said, okay, we should own our own shit, right? And, and, Talked about that numerous bills. All right, let's get our own shit. Let's get together. Let's get together. You see where I'm going? But right, we we got some roadblocks there to doing that, right? And what's 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 the what's money? What's the one we <laughs> <laughs> money is money is. The well, I'm, talk, I'm talking about us. I'm talking about the hating. Yeah, and the and the and the, and the lack yeah, of. But this is the thing, on a on a situation like this the hate would have to sit on the bench because you get five adults in the room. Each one of them has a child that's talented. Now it's just a matter of protocol. Who's coming out first, all right? So if you can't be honest to say the best material is artist one or artist three, then that union doesn't make sense. So everyone has to get off their ego, okay? Hire the teacher A and R that I'm talking about outside of the parents and say, what would be the best music right now to be geared at the young head? So it's not the five parents' decision; it's the teacher's decision. The A and Rs that come in now to balance it out. So there's no money spent in that. This is just five heads getting together. Y'all going to be a music group? I see it happen all the time, bro. Okay, five, five heads come together. Y'all got to take care of marketing. Y'all got to take care of rotation, radio play, uh, get artist development, improving the artist. All these things are costs. So you take out credit lines. Now, this is where it gets serious because record deals are only credit lines, bro. This was a loan, okay? This is an advance and a loan off of their corporation back in the day. So five parents in good standing take out a certain amount of money to say, we're going to put out these artists. This is our brand. This is a mm. business now. Mm. All right. It's not like, yo, the homeboys around the way and we're going to get a group. Who's the shit? Nah, this is an investment. So you're not going to let a kid sit and talk into a robot, uh, bow quarter or whatever and say, yeah, this is the next Whitney Houston or whatever the case may be because money's on the table. Okay. That's right. So everybody's going to be serious. Everybody's going to be on point. Uh, the best thing is that the children are protected. There's no outside force. There's no, we're going to send you down to R. Kelly's studio and we'll see what comes back. There's none of that. Okay? Because, because the parents are the managers. This is a management team. 
There's A and R's. Now you're taking that whole situation. You can go get yourself an imprint deal if you want to go to the big name, or you can push it independent, just like selling girl girl, girl scout cookies or something. And you just gotta just make it nationwide instead of a couple of blocks wide or just a family family wide. You're now working on national push. And now with internet, you have global access. Of course. Okay? Of course. This could happen from five parents with five talent, talented kids coming together to put their own agency together. And if you put the money up, it, it can be well balanced and budgeted. You bring your A&Rs in to make sure that the music is popping. You make sure it's right. And then you pay for all of the elements. People pay for music all the time. You don't always get a record deal. You know what I'm saying? And and somebody throwing a check at you, show up at your door with a check. It's not always that. Sometimes you got to stack that bread up. You might have to stack up 100000 150000 you know, for a serious situation. You know, if you're a Chris Brown doing backflips in the backyard and you got a killer voice, and someone says, yo, man, we need to put some money behind that. That's the kind of team you need to, to do right. around that kind of a person. You know, people who give a fuck about the child and then the business second. That child will grow different into the industry, bro. Say that. And I, think that it, I, I think it'll be some very genuine music. About the child and the business second. Correct. I just wanted to un underscore that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's what's missing. You know, they don't care enough. It's just like, oh, man, King Von died. Oh, fuck it. You know, he wasn't shit anyway. But that was one of ours. Regardless if he was doing fucked up shit in the streets, that's one of ours. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's no different a death than a heavy D or any of these other people. Yo, man, there's, there's a lot of things that that parental circle is supposed to be doing. And there's enough money to make sure that they have the time to be there. Okay? That's the other side of that. If you're going to get budgets and say this is a part-time job and we're going to roll this gamble to put this artist on top, it's going to be a hard battle because they don't want structure around young heads in the game. So you got to realize to yourself, like, what are we trying to do here? We kind of sell 100,000 records or sell a million records. You got to do it like a real business. Right. If you open up a store, do you want just a corner bodega or do you want a Macy's? Right. Okay? That's the kind of thinking that the parents would have to have and put together a business. And if you can't do that, then what you're doing in the United States of America, dog? You know, this is a, this is a land of business. Right. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, I think... Yes. The one thing that we continue to come back to again and again, and it's just important, I want to just underscore it, is... And you you indirectly mentioned it is building a solid team in all of these situations and all of these things that we're talking about every day every conversation we have it all comes back to verse doing your own shit the way you know where you need to do it but then getting with like minded folks and building a solid unit roles are established and then we prosper then we prosper and and it, and it comes back to I just wanted to. Put the spotlight on that point again, because you bring it up. So we've talked about it so many times. You know what yes, I'm saying? Sir. Like yes, in, sir. even in this situation, you're like five parents. All right. I can see right there the power right there. Five like minded parents ready to rock out for their kids. Correct. They're gonna they're gonna get it in. Yeah, the same yeah. five <laughs> parents that bring their kids to soccer practice, basketball practice, that kind of dedication. The parent that doesn't leave and go to the mall and then come back and say, is it done? The one that stays in is cheering and clapping their hands. Five of them, all right? Running the label brand. Woo, you crazy. Okay? So you're going to trust them. This is not the coach that takes the kids into the showers and bullshit. This is the one that is getting their manhood up, and they, you know, they rock that through life. Get five of them. That's the management team. This is, these are the investors. And we're now going to comb the neighborhood to see who's the best talent to represent the good side of our neighborhood and not the bullshit. Big up to uh, uh, Milk D, Audio 2. You know, their first priority was started by their parents, by, by his father. Uh, um, I forgot his father's name. That's on, that's on the thing. So they started, they started that, that. That was their family label, first priority music um, from Audio, audio 2 shit. So, um, so it's, it's been done and, and it can be done. And yes. like 
power of, of the, doing that. Yeah, they would they would rock out, man. They they would rock out, and they, they would and they would all come probably with five different maybe very background so they could all add something to the table. Like you know, during COVID, do you know that like a lot of parents took their kids out of school and like established you know they established like better schooling like tutor systems outside than in the school and they kept it like that correct um, those so kind of people those kind of people because their talents are being wasted you know they, they're, they're not plugged they're not plugged into anything that they're given that whole leadership and that whole fatherhood they're not they're only getting kibbles and bits for that kind of love coaches community center leaders all of kind of do they do is get crumbs when they can be doing so much more. Every community center should have some kind of recording situation, training artists, not something where they're releasing records, but they can see the talent of the neighborhood and then have something to protect them. Because these kids are very interested, bro. You can turn, you can press your thumb on the phone and start singing to the world. That's how easy it is to get out. So you should be training their mentality to say, yo man, don't play yourself. You know, stop taking your clothes off online. Stop, you know, you, you know, these things got to be pushed, pushed into their mind, not just for artist development, but just, just for the state and the era that we're in right now. This is a computer and visual age. And, and for some reason, the, the overload emotion of attention is just forefront. And it's making people believe, like, you know, believe what's in my head. Yo, man, that, that's, that's a mental sickness. You know, there's some kind of, some kind of discipline has to be put around that, bro. I, I think artist development has to happen before anybody even prints a record. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I do Camp True where I bring artists to the wilderness away from everything and have them detox before they even record, bro. You know what I'm saying? And the lyrics that come out are a lot different than when before they came up. Mm. You feel me? Mm. So, you know, it's been difficult to push what I have because this is like a, 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 a meat hungry game and I got vegan burgers and veggies and you know raw raw veggies and shit like that in my basket dog. I don't have anything for the savage that's been developed in the, in, in the game right now dog. These kids are savage right now. And you know nothing, you don't take your time with anything. Everything is flip, flip, flip. Like you can't just put it out five records or, or even one record and let people sit with it. They're looking for you. Give me more. Give me more. Give me mm -hmm. 10 more songs. I want to see what you're eating. I want to see what you, you know, it's so savage to be in another person's personality. Why don't you just take time to absorb the expression and you'll find so much coded into the music that I'm taking time to write for you. This is not a flip of the thumb thing, you know, you got to develop young heads into that mentality, dog. That's, that artist development has to be deeper than it was back in the 90s, back in the 80s. Right. The, the old school Motown, you know, uh, get down they used to have when they used to taste make the music and shit like that. It got to go even deeper than that, dog. You got to get in these people molding their character, man, you know, because there's too many options out here. You know, that, that's... That, that's the bulk of this conversation. Protect your kids from too many options. Give them the one option to say, family got you. You're protected business-wise. We're not going to fight over money. That's that you're making and I'm managing as a parent, okay? If they trust you when you're buying clothes for school and buying food every week. So what's the difference of this little record contract that you get? What's the difference, okay? When you get money from the family for birthday that money don't go like a knot in your pocket and you walk into school with a knot nigga your mom takes that shit and puts it up and gives it to you properly through allowance or whatever it is at least that's the way that i know it dog i don't you know i don't know no kids walking around back in the days with no knot after their birthday talking about yo i got three hundred dollars from the family nigga let's go to the store <laughs> nigga no that money was managed a hundred of that probably going to groceries you might see fifty dollars of that <laughs> and a video game or some shit, dog. <laughs> Whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? But, but you know, we got to go back to those values and even evolve those, dog, you know, in order to combat the shit that's coming at this game right now. And the nutshell, yeah. man.
Wow. Real shit. Man, thank you so much for that, man. And like that, the hour is gone. Yeah. Uh, and, oh. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So we appreciate you. Salute to everybody joining in and, and, and being a part of this. And, you know, we get these up on our YouTube channel. And all past, all 26 prior episodes are on our YouTube channel. We got tons of things. Brother Jay doing, being Brother Jay. And uh, so it's a, it's a great thing we do this the first Wednesday of each each and every month. And so we're actually, if we're trying to get back on schedule, we're actually back up in two weeks. Yes. Uh, so we, we are trying to get back on schedule. So we're going to be back at it again. And um, thanks, man. I mean, that was a great thing. I'm glad, like I said, I'm glad you glad you drove on it. I really wanted to see where you where you, where you went with it. And um, that was dope. Yeah. So, everybody... I appreciate your time, man. I appreciate every, everybody coming in, the content, you know, just helping me out. I was forgetting. Big up to Chino Excel. Big up to Brother Delano, too. Brother Delano, brother, is working with the Impact Center that I want to bring our show to. That He's on here, Delano Glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I follow him more. I think he follows, follows me. I think, I'm from, I, think I, I think we linked up through a prior show. Yeah, I yeah him and Brother McKinney, they work with me with yeah, the yeah, Red yeah. Tail Music Time. So yep. we'll, yep. we'll be going down to their lab once they're done and, you know, and putting the evolution on our show, man. Yes, you know, yes sir. You know, yes, sir. No, but salute, salute to both of those brothers so i'm you know yeah um so yeah big up to everybody that, that was you know stop stop through um and uh appreciate y'all we're gonna get this up on the youtube channel soon and we'll be back at you in two weeks so um be well we'll talk we'll talk soon man if you know what i'm saying offline about other things uh, you know thank you again bless it's always 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 a pleasure peace to god much respect peace family